Hello friends, Marcy here with another sharing of one of the pen uh, purchases from uh, the Dallas Pen Show on September 30th, 2023. And this one is a Fountain Pen Revolution. I just, I want to twist this in the light because this is so amazing right here. And again, it happens right here. Just like an explosion of flame. Which, uh, when I see that and say that, that make that made me think of a name of a ink that I have from the ink vent. Anyway, it's just gorgeous, especially when you move it around and it captures the light. And there's a very, very deep chatoyance in these pieces. I I will uh, try to play around with the bar cap and barrel to see if I can get those lined up. If not, then I have beauty whichever way I hold it, right? So Fountain Pen Revolution, this is a store in Dallas, um, but I've never visited their store. I did visit their booth at the pen show. And um, it, this one actually has some gold trimming a ring that attaches the clip. A solid, I'm too close on the finial here. Oh, I don't wanna move my setup for focus. And solid here um, it does have FPR along the cap band which is interesting see I would like to line this up so it would have all this in one shot but at least I get to spread it out um, on the cap band there's FPR for fountain pen revolution and Move the little crab out of the way. I had him holding the new little vintage pen on my desk. Oops. And I decided to borrow it um, to set this one. There we go. All right. Inside the cap, I'm looking. This was not an expensive pen. Um, looking for a inner lining, a seal there. And... This is the Ultra Flex nib. I did test write one, uh, a different pen, not this actual pen, um, Ultra Flex on the paper there at the booth. It is a two-tone nib. And on the nib, it says FPR, kind of it vertically this way from bottom to top and flex vertically this way from bottom to top on the nib. So comfortable grip section with the flare at the bottom to stop stop your grip or my grip. And these um, threads are not invasive to my touch. It's kind of a smooth transition here, not really a step. You can barely see a step there at the first thread, but not really noticeable. Okay, let's look at the converter inside. And these are plastic on plastic threads here. The converter is screw in, I read on the website. Yes, okay. So it's a screw in converter, which I appreciate. Um, I think they're more secure once you get them rather than the push-ins. Um, there is no agitator in there. So um, I did read on the website, I took a few notes. Um, this is my first fountain pen revolution experience. And this is a version two. The name of it is called um, Himalaya version two GT. I'm not sure what the GT stands for. It's called Vermilion Red Orange Acrylic. Um, so they had a gorgeous pink one there too, but I did not get the pink one, which I'm surprised at myself. Um, it is a number six two-tone nib screw-in converter and it was noted on the website that the converters are not interchangeable be between the version one and the version two pens um, and also it says this pen does not take cartridges Sure, it's a proprietary converter here. All right, I'm going to rinse just to make sure 
it's all clean, no impurities or ink test residue there. Flush it out, everything looks clean on the first expel. And now for the ink choice. That's why I kind of need you. Like, so talk to me here. Um, I did <laughs> purchase the Fountain Pen Revolution Painted Desert. And when I chose this color, I first looked at the Tangerine Dream, but I chose this color when I compared the swatches that they had readily available for me. I'll put a picture here so you can see that. But then when I'm thinking of the inks that I already owned, let me bring this over to you. I was thinking of the Robert Oster Campfire Crackle simply because of that shimmer. Let me get this out here so you can see what I'm talking about when we look at these inks. So, yeah. Um, and because of just the flame, I thought of this ink. It's called Flame. It's a standard ink from the Inkvent uh, 2022. I also thought of Cozy Up, which is gorgeous. This looks a lot like the Tangerine Dream, I think. Maybe a little more pink. So this one may be a little more pink than I need for that. But I gotta get my swatches out and test them. And this, I think, is gonna be my choice of the day. Um, it's Diamine Pink Champagne Shimmer. I think this one qualifies to be the winner because it does the same thing in the ink that it does on the pen. And then if we're adding that or flowing that through an Ultra Flex, my, I'm expecting the shimmer. So this was the Robert Uster Campfire Crackle, which in the bottle looks like a good pairing, but we'll see what it does on paper. And here we go with the pink champagne. So I'm gonna, Invert this bottle a few times and disperse some of the shimmer here. And we're going to ink up some gorgeous ink and do a writing test. Okay, try to do this quickly before my shimmer settles. Have you right along here with me. I don't actually need a full fill. Because we'll just write out what we collect here. That's nice. And, oops, oh no, I'm going to pause and find that. Okay, so we'll put the pen back together. Already you can see where I laid the pen down, how the shimmer settled quickly to one side there. Um, I used this ink in my Frisbee Eco uh, Fine Nib, and it performed so well. It was fabulous. Oh, I've got ink on me. And... Let's see. Let's try this posted. And I'm going to be turning this while I get my page um, to make sure that that shimmer is moving around. And again, this is the Ultra Flex. Let me see if I can get you in for a non blurred sight. Okay, fountain. Oh, I for forgot how springy this was. Oh my goodness, I need to slow down and let you see. Goodness, fountain pen, revolution. Oops. Forgot to flex. A very wet, juicy ink there, that diamine. Looking for that shimmer. Fountain Pen Revolution. And it is a. I'm out of focus here. Let me try a little printing. Wow, what fun. 
Himalaya version two. Okay, if you are into calligraphy writing, this would be a very fun pen for you to have in your collection. Um, just for nothing else but to have fun. <laughs> Vermilion. Red, orange. Can you imagine the fun you would have over the holidays using this to write your cards wow um red orange acrylic it's, the name's not finished yet nice Looking for some of that shimmer and again i need do need to remember to twist so this is a number six oops Ultra Flex. Nib. I'm going to see if I can get you a little closer for um, writing out the, the ink name. Diamine. pink and actually I think this was an excellent choice I'm gonna have to swatch the ink that I brought home um, to show you how close it was pink champagne and it is shimmer okay I'm enjoying this I, I'm glad you're here with me uh, to enjoy all this fun. Wow. Okay, so um, that was another of my pen show purchases. Oh, let's look at the back of the nib, how we have some. Do I have enough light for that? I've moved. I am in the shadow. A little bit of shimmer there in the feed. So we'll see how shimmer performs with this pen. If not, we'll go to a standard. But I do want to swatch um, this ink with you. It's the Painted Desert, and it's just a standard ink. There's no shimmer or sheen happening. Maybe some shading. Um, I'll do a little swatch here. And so you can see how one of the reasons why I chose this um, ink over the Tangerine Dream. I think it was a very close match to the pen barrel. And I like matchy matchy. So we'll let that dry a little bit. And I'll write the name. Now let's use. Kakamori nib. And we have, I'm just going to put uh, F P R oops, for Fountain Pen Revolution. And we're going to have Painted Desert. Okay. Oops. Very nice. All right. Thank you for joining me as I uh, experience my new pen. That's so gorgeous. And new ink from the Dallas Pen Show. So here's what everything looks like when it's dry and glittery and shimmery. And the ink swatch for the Painted Desert. And this gorgeous pen. All right.